Hello and welcome. My name is Mark Youngblood. I'm a Canadian paper cutting artist. In this video I'm going to be going through the basics of the art form as I practice it and give a demonstration on how I create my artwork. So here's the original picture that I'm going to be working from with this piece. And I'm just going to be doing a simple paper cutting of some maple leaves. Uh, for something simple like this, I'm just going to do the contours so it's going to leave a silhouette of the leaves. I'm not going to be doing any of the the details within the leaves. Um, and so I've printed it on paper um, from my computer. I've uploaded it from my camera and I'm going to be working with this mat here. It's three and a half inches by five and a half inches. And so the first step in creating paper cutting as, as I do them is to print out, uh, so this picture printed out as a black and white. Uh, typically I'll increase the contrast or the brightness a little bit just um, enough so that it's going to be easy for me to draw on top of because the next step is to take this picture and so for this one I'm just going to be doing the the silhouette so around the edges so I'll take a sharpie and I'm just going to draw out the outlines of the leaves so one of the reasons I chose this specific picture was because all of the leaves are connected in one way or another. So you'll see as I'm cutting it out, um, if any of them weren't attached to the, the entire piece, they would just kind of fall off. Um, so it's important to have everything attached as one piece as much as possible. So I do have a piece here that I finished drawing in. So I've drawn out all the contours that I'm going to cut on top of. So the next step is to just going to cut this out. I'm just going to be working in black and white with this one. So this is the piece of paper I'm going to be cutting out. And so I'll take this black piece of paper that's going to become the finished paper cutting and um, just going to tape it to the back of the drawing here so it holds in place. And so now I'm going to be cutting out both layers. Typically I'll start from the middle and move out um, and also um, in general I'm going to be cutting out the smaller pieces and then the larger pieces. So. This one, I'm going to start in here. So I've cut out both layers at the same time here drawing and uh, the colored paper as well as you can see from the other side. That's kind of what it looks like. And so yeah, from there I'm just going to continue to, to cut out from the middle from the smaller pieces. This is a little harder for me. I'm usually um, a lot closer, but uh... and so there's the other pieces. And we'll continue on that way.
So I've jumped ahead a little bit here. Um, just worked on it a bit more, as you can see, at that stage at this point. So I'm just going to finish it off here. So the last thing I just need to do here is to cut off um, this whole side over here. And so I'm just going to do it in portions rather than cut out one large piece. Um, if something gets stuck somewhere it's a lot easier um, to do it this way rather than have to kind of figure out where one big piece might get, might have gotten caught. So. A little word here about the blade I use here. I've been using this case since the beginning, uh, 15 years ago. Um, but that's the type of blade I use. It is kind of just a standard uh, snap-off exacto knife, um, but it is on a bit of a sharper angle. So this is kind of the standard knife blade you're going to find, and this is the one I use here. So it allows me to get into those really small cracks, and once in a while. blade chips off. You can see that there. You can see the very tip of it is chipped off. Just on the last cut, of course. So.
looks more or less finished. So at this point, I'm just going to completely cut everything else out. So get rid of this excess paper here. left, sorry, is the paper cutting and you can see the layers. So that's the, the drawn layer. This is essentially garbage now. And we're left with the paper cutting. And hopefully oops, fits into the mat there as planned. So at this point, I'm just going to take this other piece of paper here and I'm just going to glue it to that. Well, since this paper is fairly thick, I can use a glue stick. Time to time, use spray glue, um, depending on the thickness of the paper. But for this one, looks like it's gonna work. A little more time to do this normally, but just to show you. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions below. If you'd like to see more of my artwork, you can visit my website, www.japanesepapercutting.com. I'm also on Facebook as Japanese Paper Cutting and Twitter at paper cutting. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.